Hey everybody, welcome back to Flag Slash Fan Friday. Hope you like the Federated States of Micronesia episode. As you know, this is the part where I kind of address things that didn't quite make it into the video. For one, I wanted to mention Operation Santa. The US military drops off care packages to the island of Kapingamarangi, and it's been going on ever since the 50s. There's also a part where Noah mentioned that the country has the longest coastline to land area ratio in the world. In the food section, we forgot to mention that the Pompeian pepper is very popular. They cook a lot of dishes with it. On Toll Island, they have these devil masks. They're traditionally used to scare off bad spirits. I didn't get to mention any of the traditional dances like these. And I also forgot to mention that the Nanmadol ruins are sometimes called the Venice of the Pacific because they were built with little canals. But yeah, those are kind of like the biggest things. Otherwise, uh, yeah, let's move on to the flag. So without further ado. <laughs> Micronesia is interesting because it has thousands of years of history, but in terms of contemporary sovereignty, it's relatively new. First of all, the flag is a blue banner with four five-pointed stars on it, assembled in a diamond pattern. The blue stands for the Pacific Ocean, and the stars represent the four states of the Federation, Pompeii, Chuuk, Yap, and Kosrae. And that's it. But that was too simple. So let's break down the flags of each of the states now. Pompey's flag contains two wreaths of coconut leaves and a ceremonial sakao cup made of a hollowed out coconut shell with 11 stars in a circular pattern symbolizing the 11 municipalities. Chuk's flag has a palm tree in the center with 40 stars encircling it, representing the 40 municipalities and atolls of the area. Yap's flag is interesting. It contains a white ring with a silhouette of a traditional sailboat with a white ring inside representing the traditional rye stones you can find all over the islands. Finally, Kosrae, which has two palm wreaths on either side of a traditional Fafa stone. These were used to grind up taro. Above the stone are four stars representing the four municipalities of Kosrae. Keep in mind, prior to this, they were part of a trust territory of the USA and they used this flag with six stars, six representing each of the states except for Kosrae. Kosrae used to belong to Pompeii, as well as the Mariana Islands and Palau. Mariana Islands decided to opt out of the whole independence thing, whereas Palau decided to not join in the federation and become their own country. And prior to that, they were under the UN and all the other empires that took over them, like the Japanese Empire, the Germans, the, uh, the Spanish or something. Yeah, the Spanish. Yada, yada, yada. Anyway, the national seal. In the center, the seal contains a light blue disc with an ocean, and in the ocean is a floating sprouted coconut with four leaves and four stars emblazoned above it on the upper half, representing the states of the Federation. A white banner below reading Peace, Unity, and Liberty, as well as 1979, the year that they gained independence, with another label reading Government of the Federated States of Micronesia. This seal was actually made in 1986, shortly after signing the compact of free association with the USA, which basically means that they could kind of work really well with the USA and move about each other's countries, all that other details I mentioned in the episode. And yeah, this is the only national seal they've had, which means we are done, which means, you know what time it is? Geogra fan mail time. All right, so we got quite a bit of fan mail. I'm gonna try to open it all in this room because uh, there's no guest stars this week and I'm kind of a little bit on a time crunch. So here we go. All right, so you know how we start? Postcards. This is really cool. Aaron visited Costa Vincentina, Portugal. Sasha visited London. I can't really quite read your names. They visited the Principality of Andorra. Alex and Goethe, Turku, Finland. I want that sanmiyaki ice cream so bad. Francois, who lives in Galicia, Spain. Steph from Dunsborough, Western Australia. Alex sent this from Shanghai, China. Costa Calida sent from Ismail. Alex sent this from Japan. And this is really cool. This is the first wooden wooden postcard I've gotten. Tristan from Macau. He didn't visit. He's a native resident. Oh, that's really cool. Jacob, who did a kibbutz program in Israel. Sal visited Sicily, Italy. Jamie from Australia visited the Eisreisenwelt, the world's largest ice cave in Austria. And finally, this is really cool. Luca visited Lao. All right, time for some letters. Uh, Benjamin sends a letter from Japan. He says he's been living in Nagaoka, Nigita, Japan for since 2007. And he actually wrote an essay in Japanese about General uh, Yamamoto, I believe. It's really cool how you became fluent and you live in that country and it's your home now. Toby from Arizona. So Toby drew this really cool flag map of the world, but then he sent this. It's a former USSR military medal. It has the hammer and sickle. Let's see if I can read the Cyrillic. Trudovoy Otlichi. Okay, how did some random guy in Arizona get it, come across a USSR military medal? That's weird. All right, Tobias from Bielefeld, Germany. He says it's not a very 
very famous town and usually Germans kind of joke about how it doesn't exist. But one thing that they are famous for is how they had institutions for mentally ill people. During Hitler's reign, he wanted to put them in concentration camps and execute them. But famous leader, Pastor Boldeschwing, deliberately opposed Hitler and said he would not comply. And he sends a lot of uh, Bielefeld uh, tourism stuff. Home is where your pudding is because they're famous for pudding. <laughs> there are a lot of cool things you can do in Bielefeld. Bielefeld is like in bold. Dude, Tobias, you really love your hometown, don't you? Well, uh, everybody, if you're interested, look up Bielefeld, Germany. Uh, Nick from Minnesota said he got all the way to Washington, D.C. in the Geography B. Wow. So Grant runs the Vexillological Association of Kansas City. This way, it looks like a K, but if you flip it over, it looks like a K and C for Kansas City. That's pretty clever. So Will is from Florida, and he sent a bunch of stuff. He said he's been watching the show for several months. He really enjoyed episodes like Ireland, Liechtenstein, Hungary, and Iceland. He goes to Florida University, go Gators. And uh, there's a Russian store close to him, and he sent me some Russian snacks. Well, I'm surprised you're in Florida. I thought you were gonna send something like Cuban, but uh, Korochki, what is this? Halva? Wow, Russians make halva? Really? I didn't know that. I thought that was like a Middle Eastern thing. Tsar Nicholas Russian green tea. I didn't know Russians were even into green tea. All right, I got this package from John from San Antonio, Texas. John did not write a letter, but he sent a ton of random things. Yeah, for those who don't know, San Antonio is a very beautiful, colorful city. Now, of course, a Texas flag. Very similar to the Chile flag, but don't get them mistaken. Uh, for some reason, you sent me this Asterix comic. And finally, whoa. <laughs> It really does look like old paper or old parchment. Oh my gosh, it's the United States Constitution and the preamble. <laughs> he also sends a uh, Lincoln's Gettysburg Address. Well, John, that was very Texan and American of you. Thank you, man. Sometimes, you know, I just got to bring it back to my roots, my American roots. Okay, Benjamin sent this box and it deliberately says, do not open until the Micronesia Fan Friday episode. Well, this is that episode. Ah, you sent a uh, coconut water. You know that I like coconut water. Thanks. And what is this? Hengbokkan ka. Ooh, you ah, it's okay, man. I'm pretty sure Korean's not your first language. You got one letter off, but that's okay. I, I appreciate it. Uh, he goes to NWMSU. Go Bearcats. I hope things are going well for you and your friends at GN and your new house. So I sent you some stuff I know you'll love. He also says, give my girlfriend, Elisa, a shout out when you read this. Hey, Elisa. Uh, Sebastian from Spain. All right. Oh, it's a lock with the Basque flag. Bunch of uh, playing cards. It's a little coffee mug. Oh, and it has like Spanish, French, and Basque written all over it. Obviously, your football team and he sends all these cool postcards of beautiful places like Bidasoa, San Sebastian, Irun. Hey, I'm Vasconium. Oh, you've sent me some stuff before, haven't you? I'm sending you and the crew tons of goodies. I wanted to send some foodstuffs, especially for Keith, but the restrictive postal codes won't allow it in Spain. He says the lock with a nice Basque flag on it is to keep Ken nicely locked. <laughs> Well, yes, thank you, Vasconium. Um, yeah, Ken chewed through the last lock, so I needed a new one anyway. Thank you. And finally, this is from Denmark. I love Denmark. It was the very first European country I ever went to. I'm from Aarhus, Denmark. My mom is from Denmark, and my dad is from Bosnia Herzegovina. Ooh, okay. I've been subscribed since, surprise, surprise, the Denmark episode. I've watched almost every single one of your videos, and you are without a doubt my favorite YouTuber. Yeah! I recently visited my grandfather in Serbia, and I brought you some Serbian snacks. Oh, dang. Well, let's look into this box, shall we? The Danish and the Serbian flags. Oh, I've had these Jaffa cakes. They're really good. <laughs> Serbia. Yeah, you got my size. Men's medium. All right, here we go. Kind of hard to do this while holding a box. Scum banana. Dude, your dad works at the factory that makes these. <gasps> yeah, you know I'm a liquor guy. Geography now does not endorse underage drinking. If you are underage, do not drink. I am of age, so I can drink this. Just letting you know. Oh, and you sent a Serbian liquor drink too. Is this spirits? I don't even know what this is. Dude, I think this was in my Bosnia and Herzegovina video. This stuff, Ivar, it's like made out of bell peppers and stuff. I've never had this. I've wanted to try it though. That's so cool. Maybe I'll do like an Instagram story of uh, me trying this or something. No freaking way. If you guys don't know what this is, this is probably like the most famous is like soft drink in all of Denmark. Last time I tried this was like four years ago. Denmark and Serbia! All right, so that's just about it for now, but before we go, you know what time it is? Return address contest. I take one of your names out of this bag that has all your return addresses, and whoever wins gets this scratch-off map provided from Jagger Peep Federico. He sells them on his website, so if you don't win, you can buy one right here. Thank you, Federico. All right, so here I go. I'm just gonna pick one, gonna pick one. Um, uh, Mariam from Malaysia. You just won. All right, guys. Well, this was really cool. I love when you guys put your hometowns and home countries on display. I'm going to share some of this with my friends. I can't have it all to myself. And, uh, yeah, until next time, thank you. Stay cool. Stay tuned. You've just been flagged. I can't, I can't really do the salute thing, but you, you know what I'm doing.